Okay, so I have not made anything in a long time, but that's okay. I'm going to make a little something today. I know that here soon there's going to be um, a few more Bruins on campus. So I'm going to film a little dorm tour because I know some of y'all are going to be in the dorms. Um, one thing I will mention though is that I am in a deluxe triple. So that's like Olympic Centennial and then I don't know if Reber has them. Honestly, I should be more informed about this, but it's okay. You guys are going to see Centennial and Olympic. Those are the nicer triples anyway. So let's go check my room out. Also like mini weather montage. It's been like raining so much here lately. Um, like a few weeks ago, it like hailed slash snowed ish kind of so i mean if you come to la for college expecting like super sunny weather prepare to be fooled because you will get this every few months or weeks based on how it's been okay y'all know i had to come stop for some lunch at ronde east controversial opinion but ronde east is kind of good um okay Hi AD, my name is Matthew Sanchez, welcome to my house tour. Thinking back to that, that was very painful to witness myself doing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a dorm tour um, for those of you that are going to be probably me next year um i know like decisions are about to come out soon and a lot of people are going to be finding out if they got into ucla so this is a dorm floor because you guys should know what you're paying for um yeah anyway i thought the entrance this is like kind of from my perspective looking towards the door um we have just kind of like this closet or like storage area um Depending on how many people you live with, you can probably split it, like each person gets two or each person gets three. Um, and then you have two closets, um, like this is mine. So like if it's about this much clothes, don't look at that, that's, yeah. Um, and then you have more storage here at the top for whatever it is you need. Um, each dorm has like two lights. Like that, pretty much do that. Actually, this is a good lighting, I'm gonna use it. Let's like increase the lighting in here. Yeah, let's do that. So two lights here, one big light there. Um, more storage up there. I think my roommates and I just use that to store like kind of our general stuff. Um, and we get like towel racks and whatever here. Um, so if you have three roommates, you're gonna have like kind of like this spread out type thing, like two, a, a lofted bed and a bunk bed. This is my bed. Um, amazing design, um, literally the Ritz Carlton Hotel. Uh, no, I'm joking. It's pretty cool. Um, I mean, I would say, like if space, like if sharing space is not like a big issue for you, then you should be fine. Um, I like for me, I was in a similar situation last year, and it was fine, honestly. Like, I don't know, just room with people you like, or if you room with randoms, just hope that you guys can be friends. Um, anyway, back with the tour. So here we have kind of our fridge area. Um, so you can like rent one of these like micro fridges from the school. Um, I think they charge you like $200 or something for the year, which is like kind of a lot, but um, that won't be a problem for us since we're gonna have an apartment next year. So yeah, I mean, um, I would definitely recommend living on the hill for at least one year if you're a freshman. Um, just because like so you can get used to like the campus situation or whatever um, but yeah fridge it's a little dirty don't judge um, semi spacious I mean just kind of depends on how much stuff you're putting in there um, freezer whatever it's a freezer um, then microwave um, good tip that I recently found out um, 
clear the timer every time you finish using the microwave because if not your fridge will turn off and all your stuff will become spoiled. Um, I had to learn that the hard way and witness all of my stuff get expired, but it's okay because I don't do that anymore. Coming over here, we have my favorite part of the dorm. Um, I am a little menace when it comes to caffeine, and I definitely, with full confidence, can say that I've turned my room, at least one of my roommates, into a caffeine addict. So this is like our coffee station. Technically, you're not supposed to have coffee machines in the dorm, but um, for all intents and purposes, this does not exist. Um, yeah, so here's our little pod station our sweetener station we also have matcha um i'm not as big into matcha like at home like i'm trying to i'm gonna probably make it more in the apartment next year but besides the point coffee bar we have a drip coffee maker we have our espresso pods um here's the espresso machine wonderful design with what we have this coffee bar was made by yours truly onto the desk area this is like my desk um just kind of like the setup i have i have some plants because gotta love greenery um kind of essential in a dorm i don't know at least for me like i like having greenery because i don't like the sensation of lack of color let's say um one of my big things like about the dorms that i dislike is like like you guys see it like it's all like the same color furniture like all this weird like artificial wood or whatever so like i spruce up all my space with like color and for me that's like technically or it tends to be green so plants or whatever it may be um or like brightly colored pots with the plants to just kind of like liven up the space um this is like my little work setup. Um, I've been like better equipped at like working in the dorms this year versus last year. For some reason last year I didn't like it and maybe that's just because of the situation I was in. Um, but yeah, this is like my workstation. Um, I have my monitor, my keyboard, a speaker, and that's my computer right there. She's docked and ready to work at a moment's notice. Um, so yeah. Um, three drawers, don't look there, it's kind of messy. Three drawers, um, the chairs honestly suck, so, I mean, I hope they change that soon, but I doubt they will. Um, you have these little outlets, whatever, we have an air purifier because the ventilation systems here can suck. Um, but yeah. We're like at my favorite part of, I guess, our room, and it's like our window. Um, for the past two years, I've been like kind of lucky when it's come to like views or like the space that's like shown from the window. Like as you guys can tell in the background, like that's pretty, that is beautiful. Let's take a closer look. This is my view. And it's nice to like sit here. Like I sit right here, I work or I drink my coffee in the morning and just like, I just to look at this. I used to live in that building, like at the very top floor and I used to be able to like see the ocean clearly. You can still kind of see the ocean. I can't really show it in this video, but it's like all the way over there. Um, it's cloudy today, so you can't really tell. Um, but yeah, window, beautiful view, um, for reference to those of you that are going to be picking your room soon, this is the even hallway, uh, in Centennial, so like, as long as you pick like even numbers, I'm pretty sure you will get like this side of the building, um, I might, my room number is like, I think 510 or 512 or something like that, um, so yeah, this is the view. I'm um, just, I think they also include floor, floor plans. So that is also good to know, to see where you're gonna be facing. Cause like, I don't know, I would not like living in those dorms right there because they kind of just face that courtyard and probably don't get as much sunlight as like one would want. Those are the tennis courts. I swore to myself that I would play tennis this year, but I don't have time. It's finals week right now. So we're all kind of struggling, but it's okay. We will make it through. Um, but yeah, I wish I had more to show, but unfortunately, um, we have no space in here, but that's going to change with our apartment that we get next year. Um, but yeah, that was the dorm tour. Um, this is Centennial Hall, by the way. You can expect like much of the same for like Olympic Hall and I'm not sure about Reaver, but I know Olympic and Centennial are the same. Um, you can get like, I think a deluxe double or deluxe triple and the prices vary depending on that. But for the most part, this is what you can expect. Obviously everything's gonna be like unique depending on what your decorative style is. But 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video, my little dorm tour. Um, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, do comment below because I know a lot of people are going to be receiving their acceptances soon. So yeah, um, to those of you that are seeing this and by the time you're seeing this, I've gotten in, congratulations. And to those of you who are patiently waiting, I hope that you get in and I hope that we see you here next year. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.